happy time explosion Let your heart be free Lucky time, lucky time Exploding with delight Come along and join us on this fantastical flight With friends by your side Get ready for the nuclear explosions that are ready to happen in your brain! It's time for Lucky time explosion! Wow! I hope only in my brain, dude. I very much hope only in our brains. Damn, so I'm, I'm just gonna you find this. I'm gonna, <laughs> what was that pose? I'm gonna like have to superimpose a skeleton over you. Oh, like, that was like me oh, getting moment. ready as I see the nuclear bombs drop. Oh, yeah. okay. Don't that's forget your, how mics uh, work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello, welcome back. It is Wednesday. I am Brandon Weiscarver, a virtual reality painter and curator. Here with me, as always, is Morgan Jesse Lampin. We have a couple special guests today. I've brought Akeem. Ooh. Back from Quiet Lunch. What's up, again? Gang, gang, gang. And you've brought a very special guest as well. You want yeah. to introduce her? Uh, June E, June E, you. Uh, Lou, sorry. Uh, Lily, um, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm very, even though it's my second time here, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. We're guys. very intimidating. I'm, 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 <laughs> ner I, I'm nervous of being a reoccurring character. The pressure of being a reoccurring character. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's not like what it is when I just pop in. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're going to take audience polls to see how well you score. All right. We'll no, see. I'm kidding. I'm planning on having like the Steve Urkel effect where I just come on and like, it's all about me now. I yeah, just, like take over the. Whole I, show. I was hoping by Steve Earl, like we could have like a maybe a Stefan transformation. Yeah, oh, yeah. put you in like a, the right. bathroom and you'll come out I like really. You will come out like short hair and like <laughs> yeah, a, right. yeah, you know, like a, like a Wall Street suit on and some actual uh, tame glasses. Dude, two, these are my tame glasses, Brandon. <laughs> I, know, I know. These are my tamed glasses. Okay, look. Mm. Well, I even like they have a they have sports mode and then they have you know. There you go. Hey, what looking at mean? art mode. Yeah. 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 Uh, so Juni, um, she's a wonderful painter. Mm -hmm. She's also a performance artist as well, very multifaceted. I met her like what within inside of a year, right? What, yeah. What? How did we meet? I always forget how I meet people. Uh, at, I, at the Key Smith Gallery opening. I, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I just start loving them. I don't even be like, I don't be like, oh, how did I know? Oh yeah, Key Smith. Well, you guys were running, or you were uh, on the panel for choosing, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like an yeah, award yeah. recently. Their first, their first, uh, their first open call. Shout out to Key Smith. Yeah. I was on their panel. Are you showing yeah. at Key? I'm gonna apply. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Well, your work well, is your work is pretty awesome for yeah. those watching on YouTube. Uh, and if you don't, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube. Go to our Patreon. Yeah. Let's take a look at some of your work. I had her airdrop me some files. <laughs> <laughs> so we can take a look at some of these oil paintings. Ooh. Pretty beautiful stuff. Very kind of dark vibes. Mm -hmm. Mysterious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's that about? Um, you look so like, cute. I was like sinister. <laughs> the bow. <laughs> Is it like sinister, sinister but uh sinister but uh soft or like sinister but uh what is it called like uh sinister but dark romantic yeah mm. i said some i said something with alliteration but it was like sinister but something like, nefarious no, <laughs> nefarious <laughs> dancing so how long yeah. have you been painting how long have you been at your practice uh, seriously seriously yeah. since um Graduation. I graduated 2018 from Maryland Institute College of Art. That's a good and one. And then I moved to New York, and that's when I started to really get into painting my own stuff nice. instead of, you know, homework stuff. Yeah, yeah. I always wonder, like, when people. So it was the first time in New York when you came after college, or you kind of grew up around the area? No, I grew up in China, actually. And oh, then cool. I came to the States for college, graduated 2018, moved to New York, and Moved back, moved to Jersey because it's cheaper, and then moved to New York again because it's closer to the stuff I want to go to. Yeah, that's why we're all here, right? <laughs> how did you find New York? Like, I mean, what I mean, how did you find it? Like, how did you <laughs> on a um, map? Yeah, how did you hear about it? We're pretty. We keep it secret around here. Not a lot of people it, go. You to know, here. you know what? I heard about it back in, in China city. already. Yeah. I heard it's a big city. Yeah, it <laughs> is. but what did you? How did you feel about like the reception as an artist? Like when you came here and you're like kind of getting out on your own and milling around. Did you have any favorite spots or any favorite people that like kind of put you in the right direction? You feel? Yeah. Um, the great thing about New York City is it has a lot of art, museums, galleries, like endless inspirations for you. True. So every day, if you want to go see something, you can always see something. It's that never boring, mm -hmm. which is very helpful for us. And um, 
there are many different communities. No yeah. matter what kind of art you do, you can always find a group of people that can resonate with you and you can hang out and oh. discuss art and all that. It's true because when I saw your first, when I saw your work, my first thought was actually Last Rites Gallery. Did you get a chance to see that yes, before I they closed? Yes, I did, yes. Yeah. Mm. I feel like your stuff would fit in really nice I there. Know, right? I wonder where they are. I feel like there's a little bit of a dark art void in the city right now because they were really mm. holding it down as like a yeah. place to go that's what that's what i really love that about her work i'm glad that you're pointing that out because one thing that really enraptured me with her work we're gonna use art speak <laughs> we're gonna yes um, enraptured enraptured enthralled um Curators. was the the darkness of it it was very like you know and then she is also with her personal branding is very like she's kind of whimsical like mm. but She's also, but it's satirical in a way. Like, it's, but it's also very sincere. Like, yeah, I, I just love her whole vibe. I'm, I'm hoping to like at least curate her work on at least two opportunities. Very so, cool. Thank you. I'm, yeah, Excited I'm great, to I'm see more to of know it. Her. Yeah. Yeah. The whimsical, I think the, the dress. <laughs> Greening. We were just talking about that. You said you lived on Allen Street, or you live around. Um, on Allen Street. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. somewhere in the Lower East Side. And, you, mm -hmm. and what was, I can't think of the name of the place either, but. How how's the style when he says it's satirical? What is that? What do he, what does he mean? <laughs> um, well, you know, I'm making fun of the whole um, um, doll kind of like you know, uh, and I mean like Roland doll. Like what's his name? Rolled? It's not Ronald, but it's Roll doll. Roll doll. The guy who wrote the yeah. the the. the what was the one with Jim Carrey? It just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah some shit. Like, <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> events and series yeah, of unfortunate. Uh, Did yeah, you ever read like, that book? Like he wrote Willy Wonka and all that shit or something nice. like that. But then, like, you know, but there's, like, there's one kind of Disney, kind of, like, you know, that kind of, like, kitsch. Yeah. But it's not, like, but she's, she's you know, she's thumbing her nose at it. She's kind of making, like, a smoke and mirrors kind of thing. Interesting. This is my, mm -hmm. like, where she's all like, huh, Cupid pie. And then it's all like, <laughs> no, I have a fucking knife in my hand. And this, uh, guy, yeah. and this guy is dead on the floor. And we're all sitting here like, <laughs> so what? It's a Tuesday. You mean, like, young? Now that's, like, that's, that's an installation. That's yeah, true. Exactly. Mm. Ooh. Oh. That'd be cool. Do you yeah, play Yandre right. Simulator? <laughs> Does anybody know what that is? Yeah. No. Oh man, I'm internet people help me out. Yandre Simulator is a thing. Yeah, anyway, I, I do not know what that is. <laughs> well, I, we're I'm, happy. I'm still we're, a hunt and peck typist. Yeah, so. go go check it out. It, it's it's very fun. It's basically I'll, I'll give you a quick dis, uh, description. It's a video game indie uh, video game made about being like a Japanese schoolgirl who uh, is obsessed with. Uh, this guy and you need to basically like murder your uh, romantic Dude, rivals. Dude, I think I've seen somebody play that because mm. I'm I, I always watch people play video games. Yeah, boring it's probably video, come like up because it's, it's like, like an that. open source yeah. thing what? that's been developing yeah, yeah, yeah. forever. Wait, 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 wait. I yeah, just sorry. think it's pretty. Funny. I want to do that. And what is it called again? Yandre Simulator. It's a whole lore and like Ooh, controversy I wanna, I wanna and you know, I want to stop weirdos it, being weird online. Him. Anyway, <laughs> we're so happy to have you. We do have a little bit of a tradition here. Or oh. we're gonna go through a list of what day it is. Yeah, he has no choice anymore. I don't have any choice. Right. I hate this segment, or I hated it, and now right. I love it. Yeah. I'm forced to go through uh, it. So tell us, Morgan. Yeah. You have like a, a Stockholm syndrome now. Yeah, I got Stockholm does. syndrome. <laughs> so, first of all, <laughs> because it's I, denim day. It's oh, denim shit. day. Oh, oh, damn, it's denim. Oh, 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 I yeah. wear denim every day. Yeah, I got denim. Denim. Black denim, denim. denim. It's Fashion Revolution Day. Hey, uh, we got a couple fashionistas in the house. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'd like to consider like myself like a fashionist. It's like they, but it's not, it's not a sto or a sta. Oh, a, uh, right, it's, right, it's, right. It's like, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm a them. I'm you're a fashion you're, them. Okay, okay. Wouldn't that be like yeah, a yeah. fashion X? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fashion X. Uh, sure. Right, Why not? Yeah. But June, June, Junie is always on point with that. Like, yeah, she, oh, yeah. Thanks. I've actually seen her in a regular outfit. Like she's like, like you know, I've seen her. Don't blow her spot up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like, yeah, but you like rarely do you ever like you know. That's like that's like for <laughs> only because we're we're peers. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're making a fashion revolution happen. You both have work. lovely headwear, <laughs> cranial accessories. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of you, all of your cranial yeah. accessories. These are like three bandanas tied together. And, 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 you, you, and you too, <laughs> Morgan. Today, what's going on? I feel naked now. I've got like yeah, I, know. Naked I don't head. know. Oh. Yeah, dude, you see what you were walking into here? Anyway, <laughs> walking into a fashion gangbang. It's right true. Now. It's you're, true. You're, 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 mm. Well, fashion <laughs> gangbang. On the note okay, of okay. on the note of fashion, real quick. Like, um, I have to say, like, you're you're one of the artists that i've met who like kind of has a presentation about them but actually can back it up with the work yeah exactly. the work is exactly. really 
really exactly. good. Your, exactly. your paintings are really insanely good. Amazing, yeah. And I've found that a lot of artists who kind of show off like fashion wise tend to have like a, a lot less content. Uh -huh. Like they, I feel like they're a lot less, um, yeah, like they're, they've put a lot of effort into how they look and how they act and their persona exactly. and like the rest of it's sort of, sort of seems to go by the wayside and they kind of use that crutch of like, um, yeah. like uh, art brute. And, you know, like uh, expressiveness just to be like, no, you know, I could paint if I wanted, but <laughs> I just want to splatter around. This that is me is too. hilarious. I'm, I'm an abstract expressionism, so I'm shitting on myself because I do that all the time. Like, yeah, I have skills. I could do it. Yeah, today's hey. work is me vomiting paint onto a canvas. That's but. exactly what Gigi Allen was thinking when he would go out every night. You think so? No. No. Um, <laughs> there's a few other ones. I'm going to go back to this because we got some wild shit. It's also uh -oh. National Pigs in a Blanket Day. Oh, I, I love, love Pigs, pigs in, in a Blanket. blanket. Yeah. Okay, so it's National, National Pigs in a Blanket Day. Yay. They Ooh. are tasty and unhealthy, and I love them so. Uh, it's National Skipping Day. So I'll oh, skip for that. I skip. Just skipping down I have the street. a scar on my chin from skipping. I was happy for once in my life, and then I mm. was, God uh. was like, no. And made me trip and smash my chin open. No, dude, that's, yeah. why, dude, no, that's why I'm an atheist because what God would, what God would do that to a child? <laughs> he taught me a good lesson. <laughs> get, get your you know stuff together first. Then be happy. <laughs> Is it like National Brandon Wise Carver Day? Because it should be. Yeah, it should be. I wish there was a Holy day. Holy shit! The what? day has come. It is about? National yep. Brandon Day. <gasps> Finally. Yep. You're it's fucking it. lying. The you're wheel fell lying. in your favor. No, oh, you're fucking lying. Gosh. Gosh. Yes. Oh, hold on. All right. So, sorry, Junior. You're gonna we'll come back because the next we 16 minutes are gonna be all about me. We could no, do okay. anything we want. I'll go out now. No, wait, please stay. Wait, we could do anything we want with this green screen, right? You no, within reason. I'm very lazy. You shut in. <laughs> you gotta you gotta show proof of that. I wanna see that. Can you hear me that? Oh, yeah. I need to see that. We'll see the proof oh, we're that gonna, it's we're, Brandon we're Day. Totally Dude, post fuck that. no. I got the proof. I was just joking. It doesn't end <laughs> there. It doesn't end there. I was yeah. just fucking joking. You go ahead. It's new kids on the block day. Nice. Ooh, mm. Shout out to Mark and Mark. Yo, dude. we're hanging tough. Do you ever listen to new kids on the block? I don't actually. Do you have any favorite music lately? Favorite music. What do you listen to? I lately? like movie soundtracks. Oh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm with more, that. More of a film. I've been listening to nothing but the Genshin Impact soundtrack over and over again. Mm -hmm. So cool. good. The Marie Antoinette soundtrack is fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Connected in New York with, uh, with fucking Andy Garcia. Mm -hmm. And they have like a song called Little Person on there. Very fucking like existentially romantic. Nice. I love mm -hmm. that fucking song. Send me the link. Yeah, yes. I got you on that song. I'm, little I'm, my favorite is the Jacob's Ladder soundtrack. It's a little bit dark. Yeah. A little bit dark. Yeah, it's right up Junie's alley, what, though. What's your, what's, your favorite, what's your favorite soundtrack, Junie? Well, mm, Pirates of the one. Caribbean. Nice. <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> Gotta love that. Classic. Okay. Can never go wrong. That is true. I'm yeah. sure there'll be Pirates of the Caribbean Day someday soon. I'm sure they're already. I can't probably yeah. said Pirates But it's of the not Caribbean. today. It's, it's certainly not today because today is World Day for Animals in Laboratories Day. That's nice. Oh, oh wow. You mean keep them in there? Like it's like throw oh. that. <laughs> oh I'm surprised they let me out. <laughs> I'm surprised they let you out too. It's fucked up. Tell me your story. That was uh, messed up. Yeah, don't get too excited. We're not going to do this because I want to do it. But it's National Scream Day. Oh, okay. Uh, mm. Don't, don't. <laughs> like is that like an inward scream or outward scream because i'm always screaming and then the end of the time <laughs> oh yeah and it's also national secretary day so if you're a secretary you better be getting some loving and excellent I'm, well yeah, when they make her a sex <laughs> yeah i'm gonna bring morgan some flowers <laughs> thank you you're so welcome mm. and mm. last but not least it's world stationary day so kiss your staplers and your scissors Try not to hurt yourself. I am wow. such a nerd. That one like excited me the most. Mm. I love stationery. I I love Do you like stationery? Yeah. I feel sort like of. I don't want to make any prejudiced, you know, assumptions, but I feel like someone who dresses in the fashion that you do would be really into stationery. Dude, I would say that. Yeah. I was about to say that too. Oh, yeah. no, also, I think she would make some dope ass stationery if she was to make that like a project of hers. Yeah. Oh, mm, that'd be totally. Cool. Yeah. Ah, see, that's why I'm that's why I'm the, that's why I'm a curator over here. We're gonna yeah. do that. <laughs> so you grew up in China, and uh, you're here after art school in Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming that you had like a lot of influence of art over there, uh, and that kind of led you to it. Do you see like a big difference in the scene in China and here? Actually, I'm not super familiar with the art scene in mm. China because I only spend my. Um, 
high school and the years before ah, over okay. there, right? And I didn't really get into the market or art school there or whatever. But from what I heard when I'm here, it's just not as free not as creative okay sorry about that i guess just not as free yeah um <laughs> chinese people are very creative i'm sorry oh yeah, for uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. they make so I'm, I'm i'm just happy i'm here and yeah. uh, i have my friends i have my favorite museums i met moma all that stuff so yeah yeah i feed off the city too like i mm. need that energy we were talking a little bit before the show and i think that we both had the same reaction to the pandemic which was like mm -hmm. a lot, most of the artists, creative friends I know during the pandemic were like hyped about it actually. They I, were like, I, loved it. I don't I loved understand. It. No, yeah, what? I love this. These two. We, say, we I sound really, yeah. so horrible, but I feel the same way. I was yeah. like, You're like, yeah, Oh my yeah. God, I can sit oh my God. Yeah, I, was I was also like, I, was I hate walking to say down this. the middle of the street crying. It was great. I was like, this could be the end of the, and I, I, I know this sounds horrible, but yeah. I was like, bring it on. Bring it on. I know that's so horrible. I know. I got so excited about the idea. And then, Remember uh, year 2000, yeah. uh, Y2K. In the year yeah. 2000. I was sitting in, in the year 2000. <laughs> One of the greatest sketches of all time. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, Brian, yeah, but is, I was sitting in front of the TV uh, on New Year's for Y2K. Uh, mm. And I was like, all the Y2K. It's all going to uh, like, uh, is that what am I saying? Yeah, I know you're right. Oh. Yeah, you, you dated. You I'm, just, carbon, yeah, you we're just laughing, I'm just laughing at how old we are. You, That's carbon, how dated, yeah. you carbon dated yourself. Just <laughs> I was like, I had like a hundred and three degree fever. Yeah, oh, wow. and I was just hoping that like all the computers, like everything, would just shut down. Like at the end of uh, you're just waiting. Escape from or maybe your uh, LA would where snake reset, Maybe your fever would reset to zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then mm. I would be donezo. But so you got you got a lot but, done during COVID though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of artwork. I I couldn't oh, yeah. work. I was like completely paralyzed. Like the like society shutting down like made my creative gears just grind to a halt. Oh, you sound like a I, I kind of feel <laughs> the same. <laughs> you feel the same way? Yeah, yeah. at first I, I was having fun. I want to hear, what were you doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing? yeah, yeah, yeah. Junie, I was, oh. yeah. So at first I was having fun because I don't need to go out anymore. I just stay home and watch some shows and mm -hmm. paint some paintings. But then it got really, really boring. I need sunlight. <laughs> I need air. I need to pet dogs. Yeah, yeah. I need to go see oh, art and all that. And being trapped in my apartment with three other girls is just not fun at mm -hmm. the moment. Mm. Yeah, I got, I got, I was trapped in my apartment with three dudes, but then Traumatic. they all left me alone. Oh wow! They all, yeah. all my roommates went off to like spend the pandemic lockdown with like their girlfriends or their family okay. or something. So I just had this giant warehouse like in Brooklyn to myself, that's and so I just got a giant uh, archery target and I just shot arrows every that, day. That's amazing! I love archery. About 110 arrows a day. So now I can kill a squirrel if, if society collapses. That's amazing. You should go on I went, a show I alone. To, um, yeah. I kind of actually wanted to like reset a little bit because mm -hmm. this is something. Jenny, I wanted to know, like, if you could tell the public, what are some messages that you're really trying to convey with your work? Because yeah, I've, I've always, I've always wondered that with your work, it's intent. Oh, yeah. okay, great question. Yeah. So, so, um, I always wanted to be authentic and do art that's important to me. So, when I paint something, it's because I really want to. Um, say this through the imagery or I really like the color the composition and whatnot so right now what's most important to me is um, expressing the feelings of those who are in pain those who are being oppressed and yes so that includes me so I'm drawing a lot of Inspiration, inspiration from my own experience yeah. and also have from you, other have people's you and experience. your friends murdered a man? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so it's more like a metaphor and not like yeah, a yeah, direct. Yeah. Good thing he didn't ask me that question. <laughs> 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 what is the, the, also, I've, I've always been interested, what is that metaphor exactly? Because you have, um, I believe you have a piece where, I know you have the solo piece where it's just you with the knife, but you also have a piece where it's like, you gotta, and you just, the, the guy kind of strewn on the floor. Mm -hmm. what, 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 is the, what, what is that intent in that? What, is, what are you trying to convey in that? What's the metaphor? What's the analogy? So for that series, which is called Scholar Reckoning, 
Scarlet Reckoning. Yeah. It's about me creating this space, like this fantastical stage for women to revenge. Yeah. So they can get what they want, uh, which is not very possible in real life. Uh, so those women are revenging the men who have done them well, wrong. Amazing. I would be I would be on that floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I mean, you know, I'm I'm, I'm self aware. I you know I'm 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 bettering mm. myself. But yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And it's done in like a romantic whimsical way yeah so like in the movies yeah. you can see the beautiful protagonist killing people gracefully with flower petals flying around yeah, that kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. uh so Very john, not john woo-esque kind of like where, where he pit. <laughs> i did not mean to do that because you're Asian. <laughs> i'm like i'm really just saying it because of the way he pairs violence with mm. doves which which mm. which which represent peace and you know and like Usually, um, you know, not to, to just to thoughtfully interject mm -hmm. um, the way you the way you depict, you know, women in lace and and these mm -hmm. Victorian esque kind of garbs and but they they have this brutal act of like murder and this homicide and you know uh, patricide they would call it because femicide is when you kill women but patricide mm. I believe is when you kill men or something or your father I don't or, know or or old old men named Pat. <laughs> I was, that's Patrick. Or, Patrick. or Patrick. Oh, 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 Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Sorry, I'm that's getting too Patrick confused. Side. I have Patrick to hit the dad side. joke that's alarm Patrick now. Side. That's Patrick's side. <laughs> yeah. Had to, had to, like from Dharma. SpongeBob. But, uh, Junior, was, do you have, mm. um, so, like, that, I, I get that, and I can see a lot of influences besides mm. uh, Caravaggio's Judith beheading. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you see, yeah that, do you have yeah, any, yeah. Um, like, contemporary influences or favorite artists that you're looking at right now? Hmm. Aubrey Beardsley. He was a British illustrator and he did um, the illustrations for Salome by Oscar Wilde. Mm. That's how I knew him and We're his work. We're a couple work. blocks away from that bar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the Oscar Wilde bar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have a statue um, of him on the bench. But go ahead. Right. Yeah, the, the illustrations are really powerful and yeah, the lines, the symbolism. Like how bold they are really influenced me. Actually, I did a painting called Salome, inspired by him. Um, and can I, you say that one more time? Because for, I know I'm deaf. So not Salami. 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 Not the food. Yeah. So I really, I really <laughs> believe um, violence and beauty can mm. coexist yeah. just like in real life how dangerous and ugly things are okay. sugar-coated and pretend to be beautiful yeah. and innocent right yeah. and that's how uh these systems lure people in Ooh, and then they are trapped right <laughs> forever <laughs> yeah so those are also the themes i do in my performances Ooh. maybe more tell obvious us a, tell us in a little them. bit more do you about feel... the performance aspect of your Wait, work i mean i, I, know... I got a quick question yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like um the art world itself is like a beautiful trap <laughs> Tra tragical <laughs> tragic trap to get you or a tragical uh, trap or has it just been good to you so far we <laughs> entered willingly okay yeah, we did uh, do it willingly whatever yes. it is She's we absolutely right play at your own <laughs> risk it's like that broken arcade game and it has did you know what you're getting into <laughs> not not quite because yeah. when way, you were a student he just his eyes around you guys couldn't see it but the way he just darted his eyes around he fully committed to that joke. <laughs> it was not a joke. It was like an, uh, an, an earnest inquiry. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Ernest but, goes to art school. <laughs> Dude, I would watch that. And I hate <laughs> earnest movies. But, but There's so um, many just of them. to touch on the aspect of your performance, because uh, you, you are multifaceted, but just to touch on that uh, mm -hmm. aspect of your performance. Um, yeah, because I think we're on the under five minute mark. Yeah, we got right? four oh, minutes that left. Fast. Yeah, yeah, these right. always go fast. I love yeah, hanging yeah, out and yeah, shooting yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, one day we have to have like an after hours, like you know, twenty four hour, like four hour live stream. Where I'll bring, I'll bring my <laughs> get sloppy. I'll bring my pasties. I there you go. Like oh, pasties. We should after all do that. I got my after hour pasties. Yeah, um, cool. <laughs> so um, just uh, like you know, tell us and like you know, like what tell us some aspects of your performance of uh, that side of you. I mean, that side of Yeah, it. I yeah. haven't seen that. I'm not familiar with it yet. Creative identity. Uh, my performances are on my website and also YouTube channel. I don't post other stuff, just the performance videos. And the performances I've done 
they started in college when I was studying abroad in Italy. Yeah. And then it started again when I, in New York after the pandemic, because during the pandemic, although I didn't get that much done because I was like, you know, down right. because Same. the lack of freedom and yeah. all that. But those, that period really made me realize what's important in my life. Yeah. What shall I do? What shall I say to the world? And kind of shifted the um, focus from my own head, my own trauma, my uh. own mind out to like what's going on in the world, uh, okay. what other people are thinking, what uh. they are experiencing. They're so going you were through. like creating from the outside in instead of the inside out. Yeah, yeah now they're it's very... like both. The yeah. genres of you know the mediums of painting is very much in your in your head usually, and performance art is so involving the yeah. audience and so interactive. And you also marry it sense. with the same aesthetic too, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So the aesthetic is yeah, because you kind of keep that brand consistency. I don't mean to talk about it in a brand, <laughs> pragmatic way, but yeah, yeah, yeah. upping and market value. Well, <laughs> 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 gotta up your market value <laughs> but yeah yeah, yeah i think the aesthetic is my life not even like part of my life it is my life because i dress like this because i really like it yeah, not because do. i want to show off or like be consistent in front of people exactly. it's just like this is what i really appreciate so yeah. in my performances i use a lot of like red pink white colors soft colors sometimes intense red because red is very powerful and a it passionate yeah. and a violent color mm. so i use the colors as metaphors as well as do you, you know, know an artist symptoms. do you know an artist named zaneda kubar she like a marina abramovich is like little protege and she's done Ooh. some really cool stuff I've, I've i've met her a few times we're friendly and she uh has some work that I think you would really dig. Oh, cool. I'm going to oh, show you that I, later. I, I would love mm -hmm. to, well, we yeah. only have a minute yeah. left. What's going on with you? Shout out some, you got anything going on? Where can oh, people oh. find your work and do you have any shows coming up? Oh, so yeah. Ooh, go ahead. So my <laughs> Instagram is Junyi Leo Art. Give it a follow. Oh, yeah. And that's where I post a lot of uh, news, what's going on, and my more professional side will be on my website, which is in the link in bio. I'm working on a new series right now, which is more ambitious and will be pretty different from oh, yeah. I've seen the what I worked. For that. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. But it's definitely still me, still my style, and I really look forward to it. I'm just like working in my studio every day. Nice, you're in the studio mode. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Go cocoon up, get that new body working. We're yeah. excited to and see. Also, I will I will plug this. Uh -huh. I'm gonna plug it. I'm sorry. Do it. Um, Wait. we're actually working on a very intimate pop up with your work. Oh, nice. Um, at Solace Studios, mm -hmm. which is gonna be in June. I'll Excellent. be curating Wee. it. I'll be curating it. She'll be. Um, All right. She'll be uh, creating it. <laughs> very good. Creating, curating. Very good. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll be back Friday. Yeah, thank you Have for a good one. Us on. yeah. Stay Bye. tuned. Bye. Floating through the sky, where dreams take flight, a journey begins in the pale moonlight with hearts so wild and spirits free. Lucky time explosion, come dream with me. Whispers in the wind, secrets untold, mysteries unfolding as stories are told, as stories are told in a world of wonder. Where anything can be Lucky time explosion Let your heart be free Lucky time, lucky time Exploding with delight Come along and join us on this fantastical flight With friends by your side The magic will never Lucky time explosion let 
Let your dreams transcend